it's funny isn't it some of the coolest jokes or punch lines have got a weird history behind it jokes are not funnier a stand up is not a clown and audiences not an experiment life rather is it's a combination of everything from weird experimental and sacrificial to rewarding yes now what i'm trying to say here i met a person he he is an aspiring stand up he runs uh, small gigs or shows at local places he does it for free it's not a charity no he does it for free because people won't pay to hear him cracking jokes nobody thinks you can crack joke better than them and expect them to pay for it no our society doesn't work or think in that manner we are the biggest clowns we can ever ask or make or create now uh coming back to this guy i ran into him and i spent some time talking to him he mentioned a couple of things that caught my attention and thought of putting it together in this video when asked how does he collect stuff for his shows where does he get it from and what's the idea inspiration or thought process that goes into it weird but not surprised he told an interesting theory he has this group on social networking site the name is losers the biggest ones the pathetic ones the idiotic and the ones who have brought it upon themselves he collects everything from this sorry tales to broken dreams he collects all all the shit he puts it together in one box or keeps it aside now he has got another group the group is how to win he picks the situations from first group and puts it into this group and and he experiments he tries to see if there is a common connection if losers and winners share something between them most of the times he gets an answer the two sides may not have a may not have got a common connection but they come together well to help him understand what clicked and what didn't the irony is most of the times the guys who have problems they are the ones who give answers to others on different platforms about the same problem same situation and they end up winning the day when we do it for others we do it efficiently when it comes to doing it for ourselves we have this doubt doubt on our ability we know ourselves too well we might say the same thing 
we tell to the whole world it would work for others but not for us never he left we talked for 10 15 20 minutes he left we don't have to pay to listen to good jokes you can pay if you want to if you want to enjoy with your family and think of yourself as as modern creatures who have everything set or aligned in place I'm not against anything all I'm saying is life is playing its cruel hilarious weirdest strangest bloodiest brutal jokes all the time and it's nobody else it's us it's us the subject of these jokes it's been it's being played upon us thank you